Okay, today we will start a green shield model. What is green shield model? Before starting the model, we should know some uh, theory. First theory is about uh, flow versus density, and next one is speed versus flow. Now, what happens in flow versus density? The typical relationship in our highway uh, is uh, flow versus density is this. That means when my density is zero, that means no vehicle in my road, and at that time no flow. If my number of vehicle increases in my road, my flow will increase. If more traffic in my road, then more output. So this way, whenever my density increases, my flow increases. At the beginning, it increases. After some time, realize so many traffic is coming inside my road. Then what will happen? And my flow will decrease. There will be traffic jam. What we call is traffic jam. So after sometimes my traffic jam, after this, my traffic jam will start. That means my flow will decrease. Although I have many, many vehicles in my road. So if yes, whatever traffic jam you, you, you see in, in our highway, what is this? It is somewhere uh, here. That is our traffic jam. That means many traffic, density is very high, but flow is very less. So flow is very less, flow decreases if my density increases after a, a optimum point. So this is my optimum density. Now same thing happens for flow uh, speed versus uh, flow. At the beginning, when my flow, say no, um, at the beginning, say my flow is zero, that means no, no, no traffic uh, in my road. In that time, what should be your speed? Very high. Say you are the only one person in the road and everything is ideal, no traffic police. So you can drive at your maximum speed possible. So at the beginning, my, your speed is very high. It is called mean free speed, UF, very important term. Memorize this term for future, we need it. So mean free speed, it means uh, there is nobody else, only you. And no traffic police, uh, no barrier, uh, no damaged road, no. Everything is ideal, lane width sufficient. So everything is ideal. Uh, at that point, whatever the maximum speed you can drive is called um, mean free speed. So, and then our speed decreases. Our, our speed uh, decreases. So, then uh, uh, speed will speed will decreases with the number of flow. If, if many vehicle, my speed will decrease because it will be disturbed, disturbed by other vehicle. So after sometimes my flow becomes maximum, then if, I, if my traffic goes more or if my flow de de decreases, my speed uh, comes to zero. Okay, so um, we learned about speed versus uh, flow and flow versus density. So what we learned that there is an optimum density when my flow is max. Here we learned that there is an optimum speed where my flow is max because at the beginning where my, when my, okay, we, we start from here again to remember. So when my flow is zero, my speed is very high. And then, um, uh, as my flow increases, my speed decreases. Flow increases, speed decreases, and this uh, at the maximum flow, I have a speed. And then if my flow again here uh, uh, is uh, my that means density is more after after this time it's called congested flow. Uh, flow. That means here is traffic jam. So here is all about the uh, same thing. So in this case, so many traffic. My flow decreases, my speed will obviously decrease. And when there is a traffic jam, there is no speed, very small speed. So there's a optimum, there's a optimum velocity and optimum traffic jam. We try to maintain this in our roads to utilize our road. So how to find it? Yes, Green Shield. Green Shield gave us a model. Uh, his model is space mean speed. Space mean speed means our average speed. Any speed we use in traffic engineering is space mean. Space mean, um, I discussed it earlier. So space mean, like, space mean speed is total distance travel divided by total time taken. The conventional uh, definition we use. And mean speed is uh, UF. UF is mean free, mean free speed, mean free speed minus 
mean period speed divided by uh, jump density, jump density times k, k is the normal density, normal density. So the, he gave us this model and if we did a, try to determine the maximum condition, for maximum condition we can write it uh, q, uh, or q equals um, kus, so then we multiply us in both cases do differentiation after the differentiation we can find the maximum value of, we can find the value of us for which q is max and after doing all this calculation we find these three parameters so what is this our average speed is mean free speed divided by two that means this value is at the middle and then we find our optimum density is half of jam density. That means this value is at the middle of, of this. We find this. Then our Q max will be K naught times U naught. So K U. Which is K J U F divided by 4. Yeah, hopefully uh, you can see it here. Uh, it is a uh, kz uf divided by 4 so uh, this model gives gives us this theory output now i skipped here some calculation you know how to find the maximum value what is y equals y is a function of x we differentiate it set it to zero find the value of x insert it in the value of y find the y max and same thing here we found the q max so this is our function we differentiated it and then we found this three value. So make sure that you can use it. Yes, you can use it. It is in your FE exam also. In FE exam, these symbols are different. I cannot remember the symbol exactly, but they use different symbol. But symbol is not a problem. As long as you know the concept, uh, you can uh, use it. Again, what is key, uh, K naught? K naught is the optimum density for which my flow is max. What is uh, u naught? It is the optimum speed uh, when my flow is max. Now again, sometimes in FE exam you will see this question. They will try to uh, try to ask you like, um, which of the following statements correct? Q always increases with density? No, because not always. After some time, Q always decreases with density? No. Answer is. Q increases with density, reaches a peak, and then it decreases. So that is the answer. Similarly, sometimes you might see this kind of question in your FE exam also. So hopefully you understood density, flow, uh, space, uh, mean free speed, how to use green shield model, what the green shield model gave us. Okay. Now we will see. Uh, we will see an example in our next uh, video. Thank you.